Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem! Let's continue the battle at the Dolor Empire! Okay, so last time we took out the two curates with the fortify stabs. Fortunately, none of the bishops have any of them. So now let's actually put our geosphere to use with so many enemies on the battlefield right now. We should be able to clear out a lot of them in this round. Okay, not, not to mention the Geosphere also damages the Monarchites with the Mage Stones as well. Okay, so we got 13 damage on all enemies. That should be more than enough for my needs. Okay, so let's kill this guy. I would need 27 attack power to kill that guy in one hit. So let's see, if I move you there, Samson wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So, yeah, we'll have Samson take out the first sniper. I want to be able to kill them in one hit because they have a pretty significant terrain effect going on. And if I miss, then I'll have another chance to finish them off. I really want to take out these snipers quickly. So that way they won't attack my flyers. But, uh, okay, a little extra luck. How are you doing there, then? Very nice. Okay, then let's see. Which one can Navar take out? Let's see. Okay, so they got 15 defense from the Mage Stone. So 21 and then 7 damage. So I need 28 attack power to kill them. And I barely have enough with the Silver Sword. So yeah, I want to take out the Mage Stone one first because they just got... So much more defense for us to get through normally. Unfortunately, they don't have as much of a terrain effect. Though, I'll probably need some amount of healing before the next round. Or before the enemies attack us on their turn. But alright, we could use some good experience there. Okay, then with the last guy, what do I need to kill them? 20 attack power. I think even my bow gun could get the job done. Yeah, so why don't we use that for the improved accuracy. Normally I don't carry a bow gun this late into the game, but for Gordon I think it makes pretty good sense. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna have him get any items or anything, but I am gonna get another level. What do we get out of this one? Weapon, and that's it. Not even an HP, terrible. Oh well. Okay, so with the thief now, I need Catria to kill the guy because the thief has an item that I would like to have. So let's see, with the bishop there, what do we need? 33 attack power would kill them in one hit. Or 23 in two hits. Can I get up to 33? Even with the silver sword, I couldn't do that. I'd have to use my devil sword, and I think I'll do that anyway. I was going to say now, but it doesn't especially matter at this point. Sita has maximum luck there on her side. Very nice. Not that I even care about any damage they would have dealt to me. I mean, Blizzard is pretty weak. Well, at least you didn't get up to 99 experience there, so I'll forgive you. Okay, so with the Thief then, let's see, 21 attack power to kill them. So yeah, we can do that quite easily. I think I'm going to stick with the Silver Sword here. Because uh, even if the Monarchites were to attack her... She'll have more than enough attack power to get the job done otherwise. Or I mean, to be able to survive, that is. Oh no. Not again. Well, let's see. In any case, yeah, we got a devil sword. Very nice. How much experience do you need? Okay, that that's okay. That's not traumatic in any way. Okay, then let's see, with Marth, yeah, let's just get him moving along there and see if I can actually use the falchion as intended. 
So let's see now. Items. Falchion. Use. I must have... I selected equip last time accidentally. But in any case, yeah, it heals you up there a little bit. So that's pretty nice. Okay, then with this guy, let's see, I need 27 attack power to kill them in one hit. And if I miss, I'm screwed. No, no, but uh, I can survive a hit from 11 sword if necessary. But it seems that it's not necessary. Hooray! Okay, and eventually I want Julian to get the chest there as well. Okay, so we got all those guys going. Let's see, with this guy, what do I need to kill them? Okay, so they got... Which one was that? A mage stone. Okay, so 19 defense. I would need 27 attack power to kill them in one hit. So I think we can take care of that. Let's go with a... Uh, Silver sword there. Let's see, with red, what do we got there? Yeah, I'm going to leave the silver sword there. I was thinking about maybe removing it, so that way I could get two attacks in, but I won't need that against that guy. Okay, then, yeah, all the bishops try to catch up with us when they can, though I doubt they'll actually be doing anything else. Well, actually, I do need to use a, a Fortify. I think I do. Well, let's see. Hold on. Lind has one. Okay, so... Yeah, Navarre and Julian took some pretty big hits there. And Wendell from the Geosphere there. So, yeah, we might as well use the newer Fortify staff. That should enable us to survive. Okay, then, let's see, with George, how far can you move? Okay, let's move him right there so he's barely out of range. Get Harden to enjoy, or, yeah, to join in on the fun. And stick with our Levin Sword, or Silver Swords, not the Levin Swords because I got a Mage Stone there. Okay, got all that squared away. Yep, I think we're good to go. Let's see what they can do. Oh, you're actually... Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, you're actually going to attack me? It just seems so odd. Yeah, those guys, they're trying to... get to the forts to heal up now. Their efforts will be in vain, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, at least that guy has some guts. That works! Yeah, at this point, I don't care about who gets what kills, usually. Well, thank you for not ganging up on Navar there. Not that it especially matters at this point. And who cares about terrain effects? Samson sure doesn't. But alright, we get another... Well, not another level, but... A lot of experience. Closer to another level. Yeah, Firestones are not nearly as threatening. They only boost... They have a might of 16. While Mage Stones have a might of 18. But to balance that out, they have, well, at least we get a little luck. But yeah, they have very little speed on Monokites, so it's pretty easy to deal with that. Okay, so, well, we got everything done on this side a little quicker than I would have expected. In any case, in the chest over here, we get... A Devil Sword! The fourth and final one that we're going to be picking up. So let's get Marth moving along to the castle. Okay, and then how many we got left here? Hmm. See, can anyone get over there? Maybe Harden. 
Now, I... Well, let me see. Hold on. Do you got... Okay, so... Yeah, I thought one of them had the Firestone, but I'm, I'm too far away from that guy. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to move as far as I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't even bother wasting 11 sword on them. Wouldn't make a difference anyway. Let's see, can I... No, I can't get into the forest. So, we'll just walk around. I'll probably have Zane kill the Magestone Monarchite there. That should be relatively simple. And then the other guy will probably try to make a break for the... for one of the forts there. Okay, so... Yeah, why don't we get our wyverns over there? How many... Oh, they got a sniper. Hmm, I'll have to be a little careful. Okay, so... Th th the sniper can move this far and shoot that far. So, let me see. If I go up to the end of the forest there... Let's see. How far can he go up here, actually? Okay, so... Okay, so stay to the left of that forest and I think we'll be fine. Might as well try to join in on the fun and block him off at the same time. Okay, and then get right up to there. That'll keep you out of range. Okay, anything else on this side? I don't think so. Oh, well, we got Zane. But other than him... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with moving the rest of my party members. Yeah, that Geosphere just makes this battle so much faster. Okay, so they got 16 defense. So I need 24 attack power to kill the guy. Let's go deal with them first. And then the other guy I'm not really worried about. We'll get them eventually. It's inevitable. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Now, in this battle, reinforcements will start showing up on turn 8 at some of the forts. But, yeah, we'll be long done with the battle by then. Even under normal circumstances. Well, you're not going to get away from me that easily. Thank you for not attacking me, though. Okay, well, in any case... Let's see, I'll get Marth over to the castle in a moment. For now, let's see, where is Harden? There we go. Okay, let's have you go after the... Monarchy there. What do I need to kill them? Okay, 17 and 11, so 28 attack power. And we can do that, if I can move far enough, which I can. I was thinking maybe since I had to go through the forest to reach the guy, that that might hinder my movement a bit more. But, uh, no, no. I was thinking maybe I would have had to take out the bishop, so that way I could go through the fields unencumbered. But in any case, we gained another level. What do we get out of this one? Weapons, speed. Oh, speed is good. Almost maxed out, I think. What do you got? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, then let's see, with this guy, what do we need to kill them? 25 attack power. Can you do it? We can with the silver bow. And if I don't, I'm dead! No, no, I've got plenty of HP. Haha! -ha. Very nice. And George doesn't really need the experience, but I'd rather give it to him than some of the others. Okay, then let's see, with Astrum. 
Let's see, we need 20 attack power to kill them in two hits. 30 if we want to do it in one hit. And I think we can do that in one hit. Yep, there you go. And, well, no more levels. Oh well. Okay, and what do you got? Last one. Okay, so 29 attack power. What do you got? We can barely do that. Let's see. And we got the one silver sword durability left. Of course, if I moved right next to the guy, it would be a lot easier to hit them with a melee weapon. There you go. Yeah, this is why I wanted to max out my stats. Not because it's actually, like, needed or anything, but because it just makes these battles so much faster. And, uh, yeah, they already take long enough as it is. But, uh, okay, so we got your silver sword. Let's see, with the other one... Okay, so you're supposed to have one. But Catria is not because her, uh, what is it, her luck stat is not so good. I could give the Devil Sword to Zane instead. That's another thought. Let's see, with Zane, how are you looking? Well, we don't have much room for anything. I'd probably have to give my Leaven Sword to Rad, I think. Let's see, if I did that, could you make it over here? Nope, we'd just be barely too far, I think. Let me just double check that. Yep, too far. Because so I was thinking I could give the... Well, how many rounds do we got left? Oh, we got plenty of time. Usually this battle takes me, like, seven or eight rounds. But, uh, okay, yeah, why don't we give that to you? The reason I want to give it... The Devil Sword to Zane is because he could copy either Sita or Marth for their luck stat, or Julian, if I really wanted to. So yeah, we'll get that done. Make it over to the castle. And yeah, we'll just take an extra turn. We got more than enough time to finish up our business here. Yeah, unfortunately, the falchion is not that extraordinary at this point. So, yeah, that's why I need the other weapons, like the Mercurius, on him. Okay, so, Devil Sword, give it to someone with a lot more luck. Thank you for not de... well, untransforming or demorphing when I... it would have been a problem. But in any case, okay, we got Marth, seize the castle. Princeling, dragon boy. Oh, okay. Who are you? How powerful could you possibly be? Got a geosphere of my own. But all right, we finally made it to Medeus himself. Do we stand a chance? Find out next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!